All right, Kenman here. And my collection of bags exactly like this one grows yet again. I seem to be addicted to this bag and the contents that are held within. What's inside this one? A knife, maybe? Let's find out. Before we start, not sponsored by anyone, and I purchase all these bags at retail price. I do these videos because I love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to comment below. Well, any guesses what's going on in this bag today? Let's find out. Ooh, I've got it hidden. Bag on the floor. Today, we have a brand new Kaiser. Yeah, Kaiser, I'm excited. I have a few already. What is inside this box? Any guesses? Comment below. What do we think this one is? Been happy with Kaiser so far. I had a little issue with one of them. We can talk about that when we look at it in a little bit, but I swapped it out and it is now awesome. And today we have a new Kaiser for my collection. This is the normal little thing. Boom, boom. No sticker. Oh, sad face. Not required, but it is always nice to get a sticker. They do uh, provide extra screws and hardware, which is very nice. And here is the knife. Anybody recognize? Wow, this does have a similar look to my uh, other Kaiser. The Boo Guy, look at that. Cut from the same micarta cloth? <laughs> I don't know. Today, we're looking at the Kaiser Lieb? Lieb? Lieb. L-I-E-B. Lieb? Lieb. It's the Kaiser Lieb Medium. Ooh. This is a stout, little short, but chunky knife. I like it. It is also a button lock, if you saw. Boom. And it's got that Kaiser action. Oh, baby. Very exciting. So, the Kaiser Lieb in medium. I guess there's a smaller version of this, and they decided to up it and make this medium size. Um, very cool. I like the shape of this. I like the style of this. Oh, yeah. Action is nice. 154 cm blade. It is marked right there. Not too big, but God, this looks like it's going to do some great work. Um, we've got the micarta handle and uh, what they call kind of a black, green, white. I don't know. It's, it's great because it looks kind of dirty and just weathered, and I'm excited to kind of wear it in even more. Micarta will kind of change as you hold it and use it. Ooh, this feels nice. Um, yeah, so it is a button lock. So we've got that button. You push that. Swings free. Close. Oh, yeah. Kaiser's got good action. I have a Kaiser Amicus we're going to look at in a second, and it is almost identical to this. It just works. Very, very cool. So the clip can be swapped to the other side for the lefties, which is me. I uh, like that. It's a flipper tab action only. So you got that flipper, but you could also just use the button. Oops, there we go. Boom. Wonder if we can use that fuller in there. Maybe get in there like that. Nope. Sometimes you can. Not in this case. Not quite enough space there to get a hold of it. They put a little groove right there. It would totally work. That'd be super cool. Um, so centering. That blade is right in the middle. Wonderful. And it is solid. No play going on there. Hear that? 
a little bit of pivot lash. That's kind of not a really big deal when it, you get a little play like that when it's uh, closed, open and closed. It's basically, or when you're fully open, it should be solid when you're closing it. If it's got a little bit right there, that's usually not a big deal. Okay, let's just flick it a few times here. Got a good sound, good action, works good every time. Ooh, yeah, this is great. So, chimps, we've got a nice chimp. I get my thumb on there and get them right them all the way out. Got your index. I can actually, my index finger gets past that. A little bit longer fingers, but you can see those chimps go all the way to there. They go at least halfway out that blade, which is nice. You get a hold of it right here. Ooh, this will make some good draw cuts. This is this is like a, I feel like this is a worker. I see that, I see that handle or that blade, the thicker handle that I can kind of grab onto. This, I feel like I'm gonna carry this and just use it. Feels good. Um. Okay, so let's look at the, uh, the detents, so there is no detent ball because it's a button lock, but then the button is generally how the detent works. So we get in pretty close here and pops in. It's got a little action, you can feel that. It's got just a little pressure. Sometimes with the button lock, um, you don't get a lot of push. When you start, you just barely start pushing and then what will happen is the blade will just kind of fall like that and you kind of don't have that it's holding tight and then the detent lets go and then you slam it out. In this case, I feel like I can put pressure on that. Nothing's happening, nothing's happening, and then bam, out it comes. That is set very nicely. I've done a couple of those where not pushing, if you just barely you can kind of bump it and it doesn't quite get there. But I think this action on that flipper tab is fantastic. I gotta get used to it a little bit here, and it's gonna work in and loosen up even more than what it is now. Um, let's do some real close-ups. See that detail of that micarta almost looks like a snake skin kind of a excellent. I like this blade shape too. It's just stout blade. Like I said it feels like it's a just gonna some good work that huge hole in there I'm not a fuller guy I know some people like fullers or make or fullers <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh, lanyard lanyard hole I don't really go for the lanyards I'm not going to use that so I don't really care if it's there it's a big hole in there that doesn't need to be there but I don't mind it it's fine uh, looks like they got a nice captive pivot which is great Ooh, I like this knife. This thing is thick. It's not super long. I kind of my my pinky does kind of fall off if I loosen up my grip here. It does kind of fall off the end, but if I tighten it up, I can get it in there and it does kind of hang on the end and I can make a nice cut and feel like I'm holding that solid. That feels good. All right. Let's do some comparisons. Bring that in a little closer, take my CJRB Pyrite. I always do a size comparison with the Pyrite. It's a very common knife. Most people know the size of it fairly well. Um, looks like the handles are identical. And the blade of the Pyrite looks like it might just be the tiniest bit longer. Handles, boom to boom. Yeah, that Pyrite just, just barely peeks it out but the reality is the pyrite has this kind of forward spot you can kind of choke up on get up a little bit tighter whereas the uh, lieb it has that space but if you squeeze up there you can get kind of close to that little spot and you might give yourself a little nick on that finger so i don't know if i recommend you could you know if you get really controlled but i'm mostly going to just be holding on from back here so because of that the cutting surface of the blade starts there. So that kind of evens it out and if anything makes the lieb, 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 lieb a little bit longer with the cutting surface. 
So let's got going with that going for it, which is nice. So let's bring out my Kaiser Bugai was the one that I had issues with. Um, when I got it, the detent, this is not a button lock, but oof, this one is great. But the first one I had the hardest time. You could thumb it out like that fairly easy, but if you put your hand and finger in that hole to flick it out, I would fail a lot. It was really stiff. Um, I looked into seeing what I could do, got some advice from everyone, all of you. And ultimately, I sent it back and got this one. Just basically got a replacement, and I'm glad I did. The uh, <laughs> Make a fail. Don't look up there. Look down here. Uh, it flicks out much better now. It's a great knife. Look at the just the action of that, the way that blade just shuts. It's just really fun. Oof, right? And I love this micarta. I love the way it looks. I love the way this blade looks. I love everything about this knife, honestly. It's it's really cool, and I'm glad that I did swap it out because I was pretty disappointed in it, um, having looked at it for several months and then finally getting it and just having it just basically it sucked. Now it's fun. I really enjoy the Bugai. So let's go ahead. These, the, these two are also very similar in size. Honestly, the handle is about the same. Beefiness too. These are very similar in this direction. They're neither of them are kind of thin profile. They're kind of a chunkier knife. Blades almost the same. Cutting surface might be a little longer on the Bugai just because it has that curve. So it's going to increasing that distance. Um, yeah, really similar ultimately. All right, another one I have the Kaiser Amicus. This is what I was comparing it to. This Amicus button lock. As you can see, it has that exact same action. You can just sit there and do that all day. It just works every time. Feels really nice. Just finished the die project on this. If you haven't seen any of those, bing right there, you can check that out. But yeah, this was a jade color, and I, we turned it this kind of blue jean kind of shade. Uh, knife is now complete, custom, still centered, and the action's just fantastic. Kaiser's button locks are really nice they're really fun to do use play around with so it looks like the amicus is a little bit shorter in the handle blade wise ultimately the surface is about the same but it looks like the blade itself is just a tiny bit shorter if anything the amicus is just a little bit smaller than the, the new lieb but the amicus is a great knife i'll tell you that the most recent Kaiser I got was this original which is also a uh, button lock so I guess three out of four Kaisers I have are button locks this one's got the thumb studs that work really nice you can flick it out as well really really easily the action on this is great um, that button you can also just use as a button to open and close like that um, ultimately this is a really nice knife Kaiser original um, this is uh, or they have a larger version of it that I wasn't aware of when I got this I have a larger hand I like bigger knives um, I probably would have gotten the large had I been aware um, but this is not a bad knife I like it I'm gonna try to do some laser marking or something on this it's got a nice uh, aluminum handle that surface a lot of cool space I can do stuff like I don't know if I didn't show you when I had the pyrite out going up right there did that laser mark of that lightning on there what does everyone think of that someone said it looks kind of like a gas station knife now yeah kind of but it also looks really cool and it's a pyrite so this is a user I love that knife it's a really good knife um did I even yeah, so the original is definitely smaller. Blade's close, but it's still shorter. Handle's definitely shorter. Definitely a small knife. Uh, started doing measurements. Get out the actual ruler here. End to end. This thing is just barely over seven inches. Maybe seven and an eighth, almost seven and a quarter. 
Blade length is just shy of three with a cutting surface of about three. Handle is just over four, four and an eighth. Kenman span, 11. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, all right, so other is the weight here. Style that in. Can we see that? Okay, right there. Um, I've got it set on ounces. This is 3.95 ounces. That seems like it's a little heavier. 3.6 for the pyrite. 3. Point, almost 6 for the bugai. 2.8 for the amicus. And then this original. 2.6, pretty light. 3.9, this thing is almost four. It's got a little bit of beef to it. Pushing that four ounces, but it doesn't feel too heavy. Feels actually nice in the hand. I like that it's wide this way. It kind of gives it a beefier look to it. Um, the liners are not nested in any way, so that's gonna make it wider this way as well. That kind of makes this knife feel more like that worker that I was talking about, just because it's thick. Feels like I can really, I'm getting a hold of it. I can sit there and do some push cuts, some draws, some, a lot of good stuff. This, the action's great. I'm pretty excited about this knife. Um, definitely, uh, Kaiser is on my radar. That's, what is it, the fourth one now, looking at some more. It's been fun. Uh, really great year, closing out 2023. Um, anyone uh, doing some celebrating over the weekend, please be safe, be cautious, but, you know, have some fun. Let loose a little. Bring it in the year 2024, really enjoying making the channel. Going to have more unboxings, more uh, project stuff, uh, anodizing, dyes, laser marking, going to Blade Show Texas in February. So just got a lot of stuff to stay tuned for. It's going to be great. I'm really having a good time. I appreciate everyone and going to keep going with it. That's going to be it for today. If you enjoy what you see, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you would like to see more helps me out and I really appreciate it. Stay sharp. We'll see you soon.